Hey, what's up guys? It's Bahagi Dua here from Bahagi Gaming and today I have a special video for you guys. Uh, a lot of you have been asking me on my streams, on my setup, on how I stream on Facebook Live. And uh, I'm going to show you how I, I broadcast my gameplays from my PS4 straight to my Facebook. Uh, because as you all know, uh, PS4 only supports uh, direct broadcast to YouTube and uh, Twitch. And you can't directly... Uh, stream straight to Facebook without using uh, OBS Studio or uh, Streamlabs OBS uh, on your PC to stream to your Facebook. So what I use, because I don't have a laptop that supports OBS, uh, it, it does. I can download the app on my uh, on my laptop, but it doesn't have the specs to run it smoothly. So I just use my phone. So I'm using a Android uh, Xiaomi Redmi 5A which is a mid-range phone. It's not the best phone in the market, but it does the job well. And if you have a better phone, maybe it will work better for you. But uh, so basically what it does is I use in in the Google Play App Store, Play Store, sorry. Uh, I use an app called uh, DU Recorder. It was recommended to me by my friend Sham. And he said is uh, he uses that to stream his gameplays onto from your YouTube channel and just uh, screen captures it and sends it to your Facebook Live. And it sounds simple enough, but there is some cons to it, but there is some pros to it as well. So I'll be teaching you how to do it uh, on your smartphone, and it's gonna be easy, and it's uh, for starters, for someone, if you're like me, you don't have a PC that's high spec and you wanna stream on your Facebook channel, uh, this is the way to do it. So let's go into the screen mode, and I'll teach you how to use the app. Happy New Year's uh, to all of you out there. Uh, I hope 2019 brings many good things for you guys. And also don't forget to like and subscribe to the YouTube channel and also my gaming channel Bahagi Gaming on Facebook. Uh, all your support is truly, I appreciate all your support and hopefully we can uh, grow this channel and I can provide more content for you guys. So let's go into the tutorial now. Okay guys, here we go. Uh, first of all, you're going to have to go to the Play Store and download the app that you need to stream to Facebook Live. Now, here it is. It's called DU Recorder, Screen Recorder, Video Editor, and also the Live uh, app. And what you want to do is you're going to open the app. Here you go. Now you have the main page of the app. You have several tabs here. And this is what you're going to use. It's a pretty cool app, easy to use. Now, without any further, let's go to the settings. And here you go. As for the settings, I'm not gonna say much because this is all about uh, your preference on how to set up your page. I'm just showing you my setup, which is the video resolution is at 720p. You can change it to 180p, but since my uh, PS4 broadcast only broadcasts at 720p, this is ideal. Video quality uh, and FPS, I keep it on auto because sometimes we don't know what our speed is going to be. The internet speed sometimes is going to be high, sometimes going to be low. So we just let the phone decide on which one is best for our stream. Uh, video orientation, just keep it on landscape. And make sure you turn on the record audio setting here to on because the DU recorder does not record internally. It doesn't record from within the video. It records from the speaker that emits from the video itself it catches it using the microphone on the phone and i know it's not going to be the best uh, audio quality but it's the best you can do with such setup and the video location is uh, not important you can decide yourself recording mode is on standard and uh, several more uh, basic settings now uh, one important thing is to put pause recording for incoming calls because you want this phone to not be active when you stream because it will be uh, using the screen to broadcast from your YouTube channel to your Facebook. So you want this phone has to be idle only just to record your broadcast. And you don't want people to see your phone calls coming in, your messages coming in. So you make sure everything else is closed, just your YouTube and this DU recorder, okay? And recording tools, there's a couple we have. You have screenshot camera. You can use the front facing camera to broadcast your face as well. I don't use that because I like to keep this one away from me when I stream because I don't want my voice 
uh, in real life to be captured by the microphone is going to cause double voice and it's not going to look pretty on screen now you have gif recorder show touches a watermark and i'll show you the personalized watermark for live stream this is a cool feature you can put text on your live stream like uh happy new year so when you stream it's going to show that happy new year on the top of your screen okay and this other settings are not important now let's go live so what you're going to do is uh let's just go to youtube okay like uh, for example i have my live stream here ready uh this is actually pre-recorded my last night's last stream uh so i'm going to ready this on landscape just make sure it's paused before you start the stream go to your pop-up here you can see the pop-up on the side of your screen and push that and go live now you can choose from different platforms now since this video is solely for facebook live i'm going to go to facebook but you have the option of doing it on youtube and also twitch and other uh, streaming sites and so you have it here on uh, the title screen okay so you can see you can enter the uh, stream title or anything you want this is up to you and i am posting you can choose whether to post on your on your uh, own page or or on your uh, public page any page just choose it here and that's basically much it and just hit start once it connects to facebook it will uh, then stream whatever is on your phone screen to your facebook live for example i'm streaming this uh, New Year's Eve, my Fortnite live stream from New Year's Eve. Yeah, put it on uh, landscape. And there you go, you can push this left button here with, with the green dot. It was, it's going to show you uh, how long have you streamed, your settings. If you want to turn on your comments, you want to pause the stream, you can pause it midstream if you need to go away for a while. And that's it. And when, once you're done, just push stop. There you go preview on how my live stream looks like on Facebook after I started uh, broadcasting on the DU recorder and I'll, uh, you can have a look at the audio quality of the video quality and I must say it doesn't look as bad as it seems uh, considering that you're not using a high quality PC or laptop with high high specs you're just using your phone and a free app on the Google App Store and I'm gonna keep quiet for a while and let you guys um, view the video first so here we go So there it is uh you've seen how i set up the app and how it looks like on facebook live i gotta say it's not the best uh if you're looking for a high-end stream on facebook using just your phone you're not gonna get it you're not gonna get better sound quality but it's the best you can do with a smartphone today uh and a few tips um uh it's it's uh subjective uh, when you stream using this D recorder, don't put your phone close to you when you stream because you'll be talking on your uh, broadcast and the phone might pick up your voice and also pick up your voice from the video game itself and you might hear a double voice and it's not going to be, and it's not, not going to sound good uh, and I've had a few complaints from my viewers saying that my voice uh, is doubled in the videos and it's not really, it's not good and uh, so what I do is I put it in a secluded area with no wind, with no sound, outdoor sounds, and away from my voice so you, so you can't hear double voices. Just put it in the next living room. Make sure you have a nice power source to charge it up if your battery is low. And that's another thing I need to remind you that this app really drains your battery. So make sure you have a power outlet. Make sure you charge it. Uh, just keep it above 80%. 
uh, when you stream, you'll get a good couple of hours of stream with your current uh, battery life. And that's it. That's pretty much it. So I hope you learn uh, something from this channel. If you do, don't forget to like and subscribe to, to the page, to my YouTube channel. If you can go to Bahagi Gaming to check out my Fortnite streams or uh, my other games. And uh, just thank you for all the support. And I'll see you guys on the next stream.